Oh yeah. Ooh, that fish is in the drag big time. That's a big fish right there. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> and that fish pulled off a bunch of line. Not small either. <laughs> He's going on the stringer. Look at that fish. That's another nice fish. Oh, he's taking line. That feels like a dandy fish. Better move that lead core rod, Wes. Man, that's a heavy fish. And right now, he's pulling more drag. He's just staying down. Oh, he's, he's just smoking the drag right now. Wow, that's a heavy fish. Just stand down and back. And shaking his head like crazy. Oh, he's running hard. I just lost all the line I gained. Now right, he's coming up in the water column a little. He might be here getting ready to jump now. See, I'm gonna try to keep him down. Oh, beautiful fish, he's huge. That's a huge king. Might not be huge, he's very large. <laughs> oh! Nope. No, he's yeah, like, there he goes. Whoa! Nice. Look oh, that man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fish! <laughs> there we go. There's a big fish. Whoa. Sean was letting the line out. Not huge, but a nice fish. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, tail walk. <laughs> there we go. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Do I look excited? Well, that's because I am excited. I'm super, super excited. In fact, I'm, I'm up here on cloud nine. Um, why? I'll tell you why in a second, but I wanna ask you guys kind of a, a rhetorical question, okay? In the beginning of this video, you saw me catch some rainbow trout while top lining. You saw me catch some king salmon at Lake Oroville while downrigger fishing. What do all those fish have in common? Well, I'll tell you. Those fish were all caught on a rod that I designed from the bottom up. And uh, man, I've, I've been busting at the seams to tell you guys about the rod, but I've kept my mouth shut until today because today the rod's actually arrived on my porch. It has been a long year of research and development, but look at that. The Kel Kellogg Trout and Salmon Rod rated for six to 12 pound test monofilament. You can also run braid on it. They are braid friendly. And uh, man, this is, this is just a dream come true. Um, let's start off with the, with the butt of this rod and I'll tell you why this rod is so special. Um, first of all, it's a trigger stick. You know me, I love the trigger stick. High quality hardware. You're gonna put your reel on there and forget it. It's gonna stay put. And uh, when fighting a fish, I just love to have that trigger. But beyond that, it has a cork grip and a cork foregrip. And to me, that is very, very important. You know, foam grips are nice, but I found when it's cold, they can get hard. Um, 
I've seen the composite, and I've used them, the hard composite grips that they say, you know, they're more durable because a lot of the time this rod is going to be in the holder on a downrigger. Well, I'm sure they are more durable, but you get those, those grips wet or if the weather's cold, they become extremely slippery. Cork, it can be hot, it can be cold. It can, you know, it can be wet. It can have fish slime on it, fish scent on it. You're gonna have a good grip. You're gonna have good purchase on that rod and nothing feels like cork in your hand. It just, it just, it feels like a newborn baby. It's just awesome. I've always loved cork grips. So when I went out to design my series of top lining and downrigger rods, cork grip, it was a, it was a no brainer. They feel great. I, I couldn't be more happy with the grip on this rod. Let's look at the wrap. Look at that right there. Look at that. Purple gold against that high gloss black composite blank. Gold hardware, hard ceramic eyes. Um, there's a story behind that. About a dozen years ago, I was working the fish sniffer booth and we were giving away Lama Glass rods with fish sniffer subscriptions. Well, the Lama Glass rods had a wrap very similar to that right there. And I said to myself back then, if I ever design a rod that I'm going to put my name on, it's going to have that awesome purple and gold wrap and the gold hardware, and there it is. That is a, it's a, it's a dream come true. I keep saying it. I've been saying it to Gina for the last hour. It is a dream come true. Um, this rod is seven foot six. You're going to love the length out on the water. But it's a two-piece rod. As I said, it's a composite rod. And uh, since it's two-piece, easy to store, easy to transport. But you got all that length when you're out on the water for fighting fish. Um, let's talk about the tip on this rod. But I'll give you a little background first. I fish just about every trout and kokanee rod there is, you know, on the market. I've been at this for 30 plus years. Um, some rods, you know, they're very, very soft. Traditional co kokanee rods, they're super soft. I think they're too soft, okay? Look at my rod, look here. You've got some play in the tip right there. You've gotta have that. You've gotta have that to, to cushion the fight of soft mouth fish like kokanee. Um, you need that to cushion the head shakes of trout. But get beyond the, the top third of the rod, look it. I've got that loaded right there like it's in the downrigger. But guess what? Look right there. A third of the way down, the backbone kicks in and that's important. Most of the fish we catch when we're trolling, whether we're trolling for kokanee or trout or whatever, they're pan-sized fish. But what do you do when you get a big fish on? I'm always fishing for big trout. What if you're out fishing at say Stampede for kokanee and you hook a nine or 10 pound Mackinac? If you've got a, a traditional, you know, whippy kokanee style downrigger rod, you're gonna have zero control of that fish. You're not gonna be able to steer it into the net. You're not gonna be able to steer it away from the motor. You're not gonna have a lot of power to wear that fish down. Well, with my rod, You've got all the flex you need in the front third of the rod, but you've got a lot of fish fighting backbone in the back two thirds of the rod. Um, that's what I look for in a rod. To me, this is the ultimate rod if you're out top lining for trout or downrigger fishing for trout and landlocked salmon. This is it. Now, how much do these cost? Are they $150? Are they $100? No, no, no. Um, I designed these myself. I had a specific price point in mind. If you go on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store, we are moving these rods out for $85 a piece. And you are not gonna get a better value anywhere. You are getting a ton of features, a ton of performance. They look good. They fish better. The premium cork grip. I am so excited. Look at that. The Kel Kellogg Trout and Salmon Rod. They're here. Um, I can finally talk about them. I've been fishing them for a while. Check it out. Here's that original prototype rod that you saw me using in the beginning of the video. Well, the real deal is here. And uh, I forgot to mention one thing. Every guide is a double foot. That means it has support here and here. That's important. Don't be fooled. You'll see those rods that just have you know, just the eyes have support back here. That eye is waiting to bend. It's waiting to let you down. I invested the extra money. I sprung for the double foot guides because I'm all about value, performance, 
and durability. My gear has to be able to take all the knocks and dings that, that, that I subject them to out on the water and uh, you're gonna appreciate that if you pick up one of these rods. Anyway, I've babbled long enough. Get on over to the Fish Hunt Shoot Production Store. Um, grab your Kel Kellogg trout and, and salmon rod right now. Ooh, it's a no-brainer. Get on over there, guys. Get your rods. They are available now. And uh, man, I, I am, once again, I am on cloud nine. I can't wait to get out on the water. I have a garage full of these bad boys now and uh, I am gonna be out there fishing them hard. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg, I'm signing off. I wanna thank you guys for all the support you've given the channel. We're over three million views now. Um, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notify, notification bell down there and uh, I will catch you next time right here on, on YouTube. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I am fired up. It's, this has been a long time in the making. Anyway, guys, I'm so blessed to be able to share it with you guys. I will see you next time right here on YouTube. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you out on the water. I'm Kel Kellogg. Thanks a lot.